this doesn't look too fun, does it? Let's be honest. Too. Oh, right, we've chosen our mark. There's a little rock bit there, and then up there is a dragon's teeth. Craig set up behind me. I've got a feeling, a good feeling about where these birdies are. Gives me a good omen. So yeah, we're gonna head over here. Gonna get cast out. And yeah, you know why we're all here, everybody. You know why we're here. Well, it is that time of the year again, everybody. We're back down the mighty Chesil Beach. And I tell you, we have got the perfect conditions to be catching some unicorns. So yeah, last night and this morning, there was winds up to about 50 mile an hour. And then about two or three o'clock, the wind has started to turn and face that way, going across the sea rather than with the sea. So yeah, it hasn't quite flattened it out. I didn't expect that, but we've got a good amount of swell. The water is all milky. So it is the perfect concoction and a cocktail out there for the cod. So yeah, stick along. Hope you guys enjoy the video and fingers crossed I can get my first beach caught unicorn. Happy days. So for my rod setup, I've got three with me because obviously it's a bit of a journey down here. I think it's about 70 miles for me. And that's just one way. So I've got both Pen 1 RAF and Pen 2 RAF rods here paired up with the Pen Tidal XT reels. Amazing reels. And I do like these rods even though they are budget ones. And over here we've got a Pen Battle 3 reel with some 60 pound braid on there and uh, the Pen Mag Mix 4 ground rod there. So yeah, happy days, I love my Pen stuff, not sponsor anything like that, but it's definitely my go-to gear. So you've got an 18 pound main line and then we've got some 16 or 18 to 80 pound shock leader there. But yeah, let's get some baits out, I'll show you what we're gonna chuck out there. And fingers crossed. So it's currently 3 p.m and I'm expecting to be here till about 12 o'clock at night. So I've brought an awful lot of bait with me, a disgusting amount really. But uh, yeah, today's targets are bass, cod, conger and rays. There's some big whiting around, so maybe I'll take some of those home. We shall see. But yeah, bait wise, we've got some sand eels, which I've had for a while. Apparently there's a bit of a shortage going on. We've got some sprats, which is good for the rays. We've got some uh, two packs here of squid that I've caught in Portsmouth Harbour. So we'll see how that goes. Also got some backup squid here, which is Sam squid. Got some joey mackerel, so I'm going to be chucking a big bait out for a big congo or a big bass. This is the first, some salted cart wings from Baits R Us. So uh, yeah, that's a different one, but that is meant to be the go-to cod bait. And as well, obviously, we have got two wraps of frozen black lug here. So 20 of those, and then I've also got a pound of ragworm. So a disgusting amount of bait, really. But uh, I just wanted to cover all bases when I'm coming this far. So yeah, we're going to have one big bait. We're going to have one, maybe two hook clip down and uh, one pulley panel rig set out there. Let's get going, everybody. So under the strict advice of South Coast Dangles, our first bait, we're using my baiting needle that I bought last time I was down Chesil. We've got two black lug there pushed onto the hook. And then I've also got a strip of fresh squid. If you guys can see on the inside there. And we've got that on a pulley rig there with two 3.0 Koiki hooks there. So yeah, gonna get that chucked down. Gonna get a nice sea weights lead clipped on the bottom. Let's get that chucked out while we're baiting up our other rods. Let's go for the first cast then. I've got a good feeling there's codlin being caught up and down the beach over the past couple of weeks. But yeah, with these conditions, it just screams cod. So yeah, let's get our first bait out there. Give a good old chuck, see what happens. Lovely, good bit of distance there. Let it sink and then hold that rod up high to keep it out of the swell. It doesn't look to me like there's a lot of weed out there, I could be wrong. But yeah, first bait's in everybody, happy days. So just baiting up our other rod and I've just seen a little bite there. You guys won't be able to see much at the minute, but yeah. Definitely had a couple of pull downs. Greg's already had a dogfish. We're just baiting up our second rod. But yeah, I'll bring you guys back when we're uh, getting the bait on or we got a fish on. 
So for our next bait, we are going to be using some crab cart. So I think this is pregnant crab, basically. I don't know how it works, but it's a disgusting looking thing. You get sort of big chunks like this. I'm going to try to keep it as frozen as I can. Get another bite there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to cut it into thirds and then wrap it with a bit of squid. We've got a sea weights pulley rig with a 3-0 hook on there. So yeah, get that going, chuck it out and we'll check that other rod. Got a feeling we've had a slack line there. Had some good bites and a slack line. I think I'm going to give it a reel in. There's some weird stuff going on. So here we go, this is the state of that bait. It's been out there for about five minutes or so. It's been absolutely chewed up. So whether that's cod, bream, anything like that, we don't know. But I definitely had some good wax on it. So yeah, gonna get that cart one chucked out first and then we'll get this one baited up again. So there we go, got a nice bait there. Gonna whip that extra little bit on back, but uh, yeah, classic perfect bait right there. Just getting some bites on that crab cart bait. That rod's dancing a bit. Literally just finished up another double black lug and squid bait right there. Oh, that's gone slack. Right, we best get onto that then. Oi, 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 what's going on? We'll put it back down for now. Get that other one cast out and see where we are. So we've had a pretty mad 40 minutes or so, baiting up, chucking it back out, getting bites and baiting up again. I think potentially the uh, waves down there are pulling their line occasionally, but uh, yeah, the bait's definitely coming in mangled up. So yeah, there definitely is some biting going on. Yeah, managed to get two baits out there, the squid and cart, and then the squid and black lug. We're gonna get a, uh, I'd say a big conger or bass bait out, which is gonna be a half joe mackerel bait. Gonna be using a 125 pound line, probably a 6.0 Kawiki hook. Nice wide mouth one, so yeah. Let's get going. Left hand rod's bouncing again. Let's go have a look. It's a bang feeling thing. Yep, yeah, there's fish on. Gonna walk it down, obviously. Have we got a fish or have we got weed? Don't lose it, whatever it is. We have got, oh no. It's a fish, but it's not what we wanted. Well, we saw the bite and uh, it was coming in heavy, but he's wrapped himself around the line basically. And uh, yeah, they come in like a ray when they uh, ball up. So yeah, nice hook in there on a dogfish. But uh, it's not what we're here for. So yeah, getting back, getting another bait back out there. Good stuff. Oh, what a bite, what a bite. We're getting a great bite. What's going on there? That was bang, 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 slack. Come on. That is classic cod behavior, come on. Tighten that drag. And, anything? Oh, there's nothing there. No. Well, I put it back down because I want two rods out of the water, but um, that was bang, bang, slack, that was. Bang, bang, slack. Oi, oi. So since it's going pretty uh, quickly on the bites, I'm going to be deploying a third rig. So I've got another pulley rig here, just with the 1-3-0 Kahiki hook. Going to be chucking some ragworm on. I said we've got a disgusting amount of bait, really, so do need to get through it as I uh, will be going to work tomorrow so I'd have to use it after shift basically if I want to use up some of this stuff especially the ragworm so yeah I'm gonna put two nice juicy ragworm need a fat ragworm from a uh, Bates Ross these ones in Portsmouth but uh, put two of these up there I'm gonna tip it with squid obviously push the ragworm back down so they uh, don't slide up the line jobs are good and gonna get that out and then obviously have a squid and black lug bait going Still need to get that third rod out. That's going to be done after this, hopefully, unless we get a pipe on the other rod. But yeah, plenty of bites, just the one fish so far. Bring you guys back. So this is what I've got for the uh, pulley rig, 125 pound line. You've got the mackerel head with the uh, 5.0 hook put through the top of the head, now the uh, mouth there, bottom mouth. Nice seven ounce weight there. Let's get it chucked out. 
on the third rod. This one's basically going to sit there until something happens, or probably about I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. But uh, definitely be paying more attention to the other two rods. But this one's going to be sat there with the uh, drag off, basically, waiting for a big fish. So yeah, could be exciting. So here is the ragworm bait. That's been out there for probably 20 minutes, give or take, while well, I've been setting other stuff up and getting some more rods ready. But uh, yeah, basically a tiny little tail end left. Got another black lug and squid bait to get chucked out. Gonna need to check that other rod as well. So I'm gonna get a bait on this one and uh, get that ready to replace that one. We don't wanna keep the baits out of the water for too long. So yeah, let's get another bait out. Well, obviously with the conditions being a bit choppy, I just let that third rod do as it was doing really. But um, yeah, decided it was time to bring the bait in and have a look what was going on. See if anything had taken it or anything like that. But uh, yeah, to my surprise, a dogfish has taken the half joey mackerel on a 5 eh? How disgusting is that? So uh, yeah, this bait didn't go that far out to be honest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put a whole squid on, fresh squid that I've caught with a squid head and all because the squid heads seem to be doing damage in our area in Portsmouth for the bass. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put a whole squid on this. That has really done my rigor. Not a favour there, tangled it all up. But yeah, dogfish number two. It's turning dark now. I think it's probably coming up to five o'clock. We've got ragworm and we've got black lug and squid out there in the minute. So yeah, gonna get a whole squid bait out. We'll see what happens. So I basically baited up this whole squid as I would on the boat. So I threaded it through the top of the squid, the line, and the hook obviously as well. And then if you guys can see there, I've got the hook Look through the top of the body there and then in the head there. So I don't know how long well, you'll not be able to see, but uh had a bit of a rattle on the whole squid bait and there's a bit of weight on it. Obviously being dark, I don't know if there's any weed on the line, but uh yeah. There's a bit of weight, so maybe we have a fish. What we got? Not another dogger, is it? Oh, it's another dogger. Or is it oh yeah it is. It's another dogger. Brother, ooh. We're getting a bite on the other rod just to cast out that one. But uh, definitely something's doing. Yeah, yeah. It's not looking uh, like a cod or anything like that. Do be looking a bit doggy. Did they come off? We still got it. We still got it. Oh, come on. Is it still there? Yeah, it's still there. And we've got a concoction of uh, baits on there. Oh, no, it's not another dogger, is it? Oh, no. Oh, it's Dog City. It's Dog City. It's another fish. We don't want it, but uh, yeah, why not? There we go then. So we've got a lovely little two at clip down rig. On the top hook, I have got a black lug, a ragworm, tip with squid. And on the bottom hook, I've got a ragworm, a black lug, and then tip with squid. So yeah, interchanging the worms there. Got the uh, cascade swivel at the top to clip it down. So we'll go uh, clip, get that cast out. We'll get Mr. Doggy back. Uh, when I turned up to this spot, as I said in the front at the start of the video, there was a uh, bird here, which was my my little good feeling about this place. But I uh, quickly realised that's because someone's left a dogfish to die at the top of the beach. So yeah, guys and girls, don't do that. It's not very nice. Nothing wrong with a the dogfish. They've got just as much reason to live as the old cod that we're catching. So yeah, always do make sure to put your fish back. It's just, you know, good courtesy. So yeah, make sure you get a nice landing like that. Just enough water for him. So yeah, let's get this cast out. First clip down rig of the evening. Obviously be careful of the water down here because it can be pretty nasty. But uh, yeah. Nice cast, happy days. So while I was uh, casting that other line out, this one just went slack. And it appears we may have a bit of weight on here. What's going on? They're still they're definitely a bit heavier at the start. Did I miss it? Is there something in there? Oh, there's definitely something on there. What we got? Is it going to be another dogger? Or is that a conger eel? Is that a different species? Nice stuff, different species. Obviously still not a cod, but there we go. Something else down Chesil Beach. Coolio Bignos, that's on the black lug and squid. So yeah, not quite the uh, intended fish we want, but there you go. Another fish on. I'm not going to make any guesses as to what it is. There's obviously quite a few dogfish 
and some congas out there at the minute. Don't know if I've said, but tonight high tide is about 20 past nine. So yeah, we're gonna be waiting for the flood about 20 to seven-ish. That's hopefully when it all starts getting a bit more manic. Oh, hang on, what's going on there? Why is that so heavy? Oh, okay, that was weird. That was just the uh, waves at the bottom, I guess, being sucked in. Right then, we still got fish on. Besides something coming up. Is there another dog? Looks like it. Oi, oi. Chesil Beach, Dog City. We're gonna bait it up and get it back out again. We're going in with a double lead. Pulley panel rig again there with a double black lug and squid. Lovely looking bait there. Come on. So the next bait that we have got done up is a two hook clip down rig. And if I can uh, untangle it, we have got ray bait on this time, a ray bait. So we have got a nice strip of squid and then a nice half bit of sprat there. We've uh, cut the head off or at halfway and then cut the tail off as well. So yeah, get that clip down, get that sent out soon. Probably gonna get another ragworm bait on the go because I bought a pound of ragworm. So we have got absolutely loads and loads of that left. So yeah, we're gonna have to get through that. Still got plenty of bait as well, so yeah. Time is uh, on our side at the minute. And the tide will be on our side as well, so yeah. Stay tuned. What's going on with this rod? Finally started tapping, gone a little bit slack. Any weight or anything doing? Let's have a look. Oh, is there a bit of weight? Is there a bit of weight? Yes, there is. Lovely. So I've been twiddling my thumbs for a bit. Wondering what to do, wondering what baits to use. And finally, we have got a fish on. Good stuff. Feeling a little bit more substantial than a dogfish, but you never know, and it always <laughs> tends to be the dog. But uh, we'll be optimistic. Don't want to lose it in this surf down there, because there's an awful lot of surf. <laughs> what we got? What have we got? It is a conga, it looks like. We've got a slightly bigger conga. Okie dokie. So yeah, nothing special. That's on the uh, squid head and crab cart wrap. So yeah, something a little bit bigger. They're getting bigger congas. We get a bigger one, why not? Well, fish on on the uh, left hand rod. Can't remember what bait I put on it. I think I just put a whole squid. We'll walk it down just in case. What we got? Oh, it's not, is it? It's a blooming dog again. Go away. Ooh, another cast, another dogger. So yeah, that's stripped away at my black lug. Cheeky, cheeky monkey. Well, a small slack liner and fish on. This is a double black lug and cart bait on the pulley panel rig. Looked up and the line was a bit slack. Obviously uh, pulled into it with a bit of weight. No assumptions at all. Just gonna reel it in. Not gonna get excited. Definitely not massive, whatever it is. But uh, you know, obviously a nice bait. Don't lose it in there. Almost in, what we got? Oh dear, that's why we don't get excited. Hang about, hang about. Yes, yes, I did it, I did it. I did it, woo, let's go baby. I caught a fish finger. <laughs> woo, let's go fish finger. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's go. I thought it was a dogfish, but I've only gone and caught a fish finger down chisel. I can't believe it. My first ever chisel fish finger. Look at that. On the cart and black lug. Let's go. I'm absolutely over the moon with that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I am absolutely over the moon with that. I know it's only a fish finger. And believe me when I say this, it's going to go back. We'll let it grow up to be someone else's eight pounder. But look at that lovely open mouth with the... Uh, Pilly Pennell rig there with a two Koyoki rig. Happy days. Sea weight, weight, of course. Look at that. Good stuff, everybody. Perfectly hooked. 
I can't believe it. I've caught myself a chisel cod. Nothing massive, but uh, obviously we can do some camera trickery if we, uh, if we like and try and make it look bigger. But uh, absolutely over the moon with that. As I said, we're gonna go get it back, so we'll uh, go do that now before it's out of the water too long. But yeah, got myself a codfish finger. Lovely job. So I just wanna to say to everyone, I had full intentions of putting this fish back, but unfortunately he sort of got a little bit deep hooked. His, uh, what do you call it? Food tube took the hook in basically and he's bleeding quite a lot so yeah unfortunately i am gonna have to dispatch this fish properly so i don't feel any more pain but uh, i was intending to put it back which is unfortunate but uh yeah there you go happy days just one thing about the cod ling as well dangler just messaged me and said about the minimum size for these things and uh yeah 35 centimeters just want to make sure with you guys as you can see, it is basically just about 40 centimetres right there if you stretch him out sort of thing. So yeah, definitely over the 35 mark, which is a happy days. So obviously I'm going to do another one of those baits up because it seems like, well, with the tide coming in, it's going to start fishing. So for, for now, I'm going to put the uh, two clip down back out with ragworm and squid tip. So yeah, let's get it chucked out. I am so happy that I've picked up that cart today. It's a bait that I've never tried before. And I was a bit sceptical on it because it's quite expensive. I mean, in reality, you get a lot of baits out of it. So yeah, not too bad, I guess. But uh, hopefully you guys can see our next bait is gonna be a nice bit of the squid that I caught with some of the cart zipped on. So yeah, lovely, good stuff. Let's get it cast out. Other rod is biting. There's a bite on here. What's going on? What is going on here? Sort of mixed up a bit. Let's see if we got fish on. Yeah, fish on. If there's one in the area, could there be two? See, I've still got that rod about to go out there and this one started uh, bobbing away. Yeah, no substantial weight again. Yeah, came off whatever it was. Well, we'll have a look at the baits. Oh, that was the uh, tour clip down rig. We'll get that clip down and uh, send back out again. I may as well show you all how I baited that up. So hopefully you can see well enough without the head torch, something like that getting in the way. So yep, yeah, got the cart wings here and I've got a baiting needle. So what I was doing, we'll probably time lapse this. But uh, yeah, basically putting two worms up. The needle, these are all frozen, frozen crab cart and frozen black lugs. And uh, yeah, these are from Baits R Us if anyone's interested. So yeah, I've got two on there now. I'm gonna get the crab cart, stick it on there, and if I can find my bait elastic. What I'll do, yep, yeah, something like that. Try and push the blacks together. <clears throat> Not saying that I'm the expert of this, but uh, yeah, this is literally what I did to catch that fish right there. As I said, I've already uh, dispatched it. Those are just nerves, basically. So don't be worried, it is 100% dead. But uh, yeah, not the expert, this is what I did. So it's always good to know what other people did if you are interested in coming down to Cheswell and cod fishing. But yeah, keeping it nicely compact like that. <clears throat> so we go. And the rig is a pulley panel rig, basically, it's a pulley rig with the extra hook, which makes it the panel. <coughs> so that's the panel hook right there. So what I did is I hooked the bottom hook in the bottom of the bait like that. Got my bait elastic and uh, whipped the eye of that hook down. That's the main bit that keeps the hook in place, basically, in the bait. Then I whipped a little bit of the line on above. Then you come in with your panel hook. And this is a difficult bit that I never really used to like doing, but you whip the line around it two or three times, like three there, and then you nick it in the opposite way you did before. Then we do is hold tip of the hook, give it a pull, then you put a little bit more bait elastic on. There's a basic idea, there's a nice little cod bait and that's what caught that one there. So yeah, happy days. And that rod is going nuts. Just took a bit of drag as well, only a tiny bit of drag, but uh, 
Something's going on there. I think this is the car bait again. Have we got fish on? Please, come on. That was the best bite I've had so far tonight. And we've got fish on. Yes, come on. That's a bit better weight. That's more weight. Let's go. Sort of feels like a dead weight, to be honest. But it's definitely quite heavy. Famous last words of it not being a dogfish. I can see something down there flapping. What is it? What we got? What we got? Oh, it's not what I think it is, is it? It's not what I think it is. No way. How have you done that, Mr. Dog? Ooh, dirty boy. All right, well, there's the suspense over. Get back to uh, baiting that line on this one. As I just said, we had a bite. Is it going to be another blooming dogfish? Oh, yeah, that's a bit more bendy this time. Is it two dogfish? That's definitely more bendy. This is a light rod, I will admit. But that's more weighty than a dogfish this time for sure. 100%. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Give me what I want. What we got? What is it? Oh, you're having a laugh. What is going on? These dogs feel so heavy, man. I'm not saying anything anymore. <laughs> so guys, girls, massive thank you if you are still watching. Just a quick little one here. If you are wondering, it's obviously getting colder now into the winter months. <clears throat> and uh, it's probably about four degrees down here with a bit of wind. If you wondering how I'm staying warm other than having the IMAX suit on and a jumper. Normally I'd be in a coat by now. But uh, yeah, I attribute it to three things. Number one, I've got uh, an undersuit, basically a onesie from a brand called Lomo. Number two is my socks. They're called seal skin socks. They're waterproof socks and they're really, really good at insulating your feet. So my feet are nice and warm. Obviously my body's nice and warm. And yeah, with that onesie, I sometimes feel without one that around this area, down my back, I get really, really cold. So it's definitely a really good investment. And then number three, in my pocket, or actually it's over there on my box now, I've got one of these. I've mentioned all of these three things on the channel before as a Christmas gift video idea for a fisherman. But uh, this is a Zippo hand warmer basically runs off of uh, lighter fluid and it's got a little catalytic thing in there and this thing warms up your hands very very nicely so yeah do appreciate it if you guys still are watching there are links in the description for these products if you do want to have a look at them but they're definitely really good for the winter so yeah happy days we are getting the first bite in probably about 20 minutes or so it's been pretty quiet <clears throat> believe that is the fresh bait that we just put out currently uh making up a rig to put the uh, underwater camera out, give that a go. See if we can see anything at night time. Yeah, just thought I'd show you guys. There it goes again. A bit more pronounced than that, but we are getting a bite. There it goes again. See how I can keep an eye on that. Oh, there you go. Let's see what happens. Well, we've got something on here. <clears throat> As always, I can't remember what rig this is. I think there's a squid and cart bait out there, and then there is the uh, two at tip down. So one of them it's not feeling very heavy is it come off no it's not still there here it comes is it another dog fish it's coming in like a dog it's a dog oh no what is that looks like a conger eel did it make it back oh it's a dog it's a dog we'll put him straight back that's on the clip down rig well yeah little baby dog back to go then so it's coming up to about quarter past nine now which is high tide so I'm going to try something different now. I'm probably going to give it another hour or so, depending on how it fishes. But uh, I've got a little flapper here with some sea weights pop-up beads. And uh, we've got the canned fish fishing camex on the bottom. So yeah, if you guys are interested in this, it is an underwater camera. I used it on my last video down at Chesil. And I uh, caught some awesome footage of mackerel, scad, even saw a squid. So uh, yeah, got a little on button here. And after a couple of seconds, it should beep and flash. And then you've got a Canfish app on your phone. So you connect to that. There you go. Should connect via Wi-Fi. There we go, it's all connected. Go back to the app, enter in camera, and we can turn the fill light on. So there you go, that will work under water. So we're going to get this chucked out and see if we can see anything on the seabed. As you can see from the camera, there is... Let's see if I can turn that off. You can sort of see the bottom, so potential to see a cod or something interesting. So yeah, let's get that chucked out. We've got 
the last of the black lug and tipped with squid. So yeah, let's give it a go and see if we can get any underwater footage. So with the winds being pretty bad earlier in the day, it's obviously churned up the water, which is what we wanted. So yeah, the footage includes two casts of about half an hour each, and there wasn't a huge amount of footage, but I did try and get the best stuff, as you can see. So yeah, basically we got a, a pouting cruising around, and then we got a whiting here. I believe the, the pouting at least is in the same family as the cod, the whiting probably too. But uh, yeah, it's always good fun seeing the bottom. Also shows you what the bottom of the floor seabed looks like, which is always helpful. As always, we got the uh, Chesil Beach hermit crabs here. Always taking your bait. But yeah, not too much footage, but seeing a couple of whiting and a couple of pouting is pretty cool. Just a shame that it wasn't a codlin. Flat line, flat line, flat line. <clears throat> Anything on? Ooh. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Nice bit of weight. What is it? We are almost in, it's in the surf. What we got, what we got? Oh, dearie me. It's two dogfish, one pops off, there he is. How diddly dare you? Why? You've ruined my evening again. Stop it. Right, we'll get him back in uh chuck the rod back out again. <laughs> Probably second to last cast and we're getting slack lined again, most likely by dogfish. Over the course of the evening, I seem to lose quite a few fish on this rig. So I think I need to change the hooks on there. So I'll make sure to do that for the next video. Don't you worry. Well then everyone, there it is. We are done. It's about 20 past 10 now. I kept on getting knocks on the, uh, what's it called? Clip down rig, but I kept on losing the fish for some reason. So yeah, not sure what's going on there, but yeah, probably dogfish. But if you enjoyed this video guys, do share it out. Hit that thumbs up button, do all that good stuff. Share the video out, really do appreciate it. But yeah, happy days. Finally caught myself a Chesil Beach codling. Need to get a cod next but that'll do for now. Happy days, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!